Hi, welcome to the Absolutely Improvised Monologue. My name is Paul Burrell, and I'm the monologuist, and it's Absolutely Improvised. So here's how we play right down here. There's going to be a prompt. It's a one-word prompt someone sent me. You can send me your prompts if you like. Send them here. You can find me on the YouTubes. You can find me on the Facebook. You can find me on the Twitter. You can find me on the Instagrams. Show me a one-word prompt. I'll make a story out of it, and uh, you'll be immortal. Um, the character's name is uh, Porkchop. Obviously, uh, and he lives in McKinley Park. He has a family. He has uh, kids and friends, like everybody else. And each of the prompts uh, uh, inspire one of his stories. And you can uh, you can you might find the prompt in the story. The prompt might inspire the story. It's kind of hard to tell because I won't know until I tell the story, because it is as I said, absolutely improvised. One take, no. Um, no editing, just one straight take. All right. Gail, I got to get in there. No, no, I got to get in there. No, you see, here's the thing, honey. I uh, have not been in there. I have not performed my ablutions in uh, a day and a half. You see, on on Saturday when Arthur and uh, and Eldon and whoever else was here for the the game of sports that they chose to watch, I don't really care about the sports. I care about the food. We had chili. We had chili with cheese. We had chili with cheese and onions. We had chili with cheese and onions and sour cream. We had nachos. We had nachos with chili on them. We had nachos with jalapenos on them. We had nachos with chili jalapenos and onions on them. And everything was, as we say in the neighborhood, delicioso. I was in my cups. I had a couple old styles. I had a couple Twinkies. I had more chili. But I maybe went a little heavy on the cheese, if you know what I'm saying. So, Monday morning, I wake up, go to uh, perform my morning ablutions. Nothing. Nothing. How we say in the, in, the, in the industry, no product whatsoever. So I think, yeah, I'll go get a cup of coffee, loosen up the machinery. Nope, nothing. So I go to work, do my thing. I have a little breakfast, a little breakfast off the roach coach, you know, uh, a little uh, a little tamale thing, you know, another cup of coffee. Thinking I'm gonna loosen up the the machinery. Nothing. So then, uh, then um, uh, lunchtime. That's right. I'm sorry. I got a little distractible. Lunchtime comes. The guy comes to the, uh, pulls the roach coach up. I go out to the coach. I get three or four of these fried tacos. I get a little cup of beans. I get a harito. And I'm set. And I go back and I sit on the picnic table and I eat and I eat and I eat. Thinking these beans, they're going to they're gonna shake things loose. No dice. At about three o'clock, I take a cup of coffee. I go in the bathroom. It's like an orchestra in there, but no product. It's like timpanis and tubas, but no product. So I come home, and, and, and you're not here. I don't know where you are. You're doing your thing. I have a little bit of that Mrs. Grass's soup, hoping it will kind of, you know, loosen up the machinery. Nothing. I go to bed. Now I'm feeling like there's a tombstone right here. Right? So next morning I get up, I go to the bathroom. Nothing. Nothing. A lot of volume, but no product. I have a very light breakfast. I have one egg and muffin. And then I go to work, and the roach coach pulls up at lunchtime. And what do I do? I just get two orders of beans and two orders of rice. If this don't get the machinery working, I don't know what we're going to do because there ain't another way to get anything out of there. Gosh, I got to love cheese. Why do I got to love cheese? But I love cheese. What are you going to do? There's two things I like about cheese. The first is how delicious it is when you chew it and it's chewy and it's kind of salty and sweet and it's just so good. Anyway, so, uh, so on the way home from work, I stop over down the street block at the Dunkin' Donuts, and I get a little espresso, a double espresso, right? And I 
I pop it like it's like I pop it like we're in college, except I never went to college, but that's what I understand college kids do. Anyway, I get home and I'm thinking now is the time. Nothing. Nothing. So I sit down, I have it all style. I put on Judge Judy. All of a sudden, it's like the tectonic plates are shifting. It's like the San Andreas fault. I could feel everything moving. And I run up the stairs to our bathroom, and you're in there. I run down mid back down the stairs to the main floor bathroom. Junior's in there. I run downstairs to the bathroom, bathroom in the basement. Gil Junior's in there. What am I going to do? I run all the way back up, and that's why I'm here. You got to open the door, babe. You got to open the door. It's going to be a monsoon. It's going to be a tsunami or he poops on me, if you will. But I am feeling it, and I don't want to. I don't want to ruin these pants. Please, Gail, open the door. Open the door. If you ever love me, uh, if you ever love, never mind. I will get the mop. 